The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. For it seems to me that God has put us apostles on show right at the end, like men condemned to death. We've been exhibited as a spectacle to the whole universe, both angelic and human. Here we are, fools for Christ's sake, while you are the clever ones in Christ. We are weak while you are strong. You are honored while we are disgraced. To this day, we go short of food and drink and clothes. We are beaten up and we have no homes. We earn our living by laboring with our own hands. When we are cursed, we answer it with a blessing. When we are hounded, we endure it passively. When we are insulted, we give a courteous answer. We are treated even now as the dregs of the world, the very lowest scum. Now, I am writing all this not to make you ashamed, but simply to remind you as my dear children, for even though you might have 10,000 slaves to look after you in Christ, you still have no more than one father. And it was I who fathered you in Christ Jesus by the gospel. And our response is taken from Psalm 145. Upright in all that he does, Yahweh acts only in faithful love. He is close to all who call upon him, all who call on him from the heart. He fulfills the desires of all who fear him. He hears their cry and he saves them. Yahweh guards all who love him, but all the wicked he destroys. My mouth shall always praise Yahweh and let every creature bless his holy name forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. It happened that one Sabbath, Jesus was walking through the cornfields and his disciples were picking ears of corn rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Now, some of the Pharisees said, why are you doing something that's forbidden on the Sabbath day? And Jesus answered them, so you have not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry? How we went into the house of God and took the loaves of the offering and ate them and gave them to his followers, loaves which the priests alone are allowed to eat. And he said to them, the son of man is master of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord.